Good morning, detectives. Welcome back to our series, Mystery Manor. My name is Anola Holmes, and it's so nice to see so many of you back with us this morning. And I'm so glad you're back to help us continue to solve the big mystery. Over the last few weeks, we've been searching through this manor for answers to some questions we have about God. And I've loved getting to share all the clues and answers we have found together with my brother, Sherlock. He said we have a real knack for this detective business. Now, if you remember last week, the clues we saw taught us that what the Bible says, God says. And we got to learn how the Bible was written so long ago. We discovered more faded ink on the page that we found. But as we were leaving, I discovered something else in the very corner of the page that I didn't see before. Now, I was thinking about this smudge on the paper all week, and so I started looking around this place for a clue, and I got to thinking, maybe this smudge could have been made by an old feather quill. You know, it's amazing that we went from writing with feather pens to pens that we have like this every day. It's quite amazing. But looking over it, I don't see any clues. I also picked up this really old dusty notebook and it looked really interesting and I started reading through it. It turns out that it was somebody's journal and there are all kinds of notes in here about what they learned from God and what God has said to them. But I'm not sure this is our clue. There are so many pages and there's loose paper and let me think. Maybe there's a journal entry about the Bible story. Detectives, here we go. The game is afoot. I found it. And it looks like there is a clue there. All right. There are some numbers and blanks. This is it, you guys. This has to be the next clue. But how in the world do we solve this? Sherlock would love this clue. I wish he was around. Hmm. I got it. Let's think like Sherlock. All right. If I were Sherlock, what would I say? How would I think? Okay. I got it. If I was Sherlock. If we think logically with sound scientific reasoning of the variable for this idealism, who am I kidding? I don't even know what those words mean. And when he starts talking like that, I have no clue what he's saying. I'm never going to solve this clue without him. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's take another look. You know, I've heard Sherlock talk about these puzzles that spies use to send messages. And they're called... What was the word he used? Cryptograms. You see, there's a letter associated with each number on the page. And once you figure out the pattern, you can decode the message. Look, there's already one letter done for us. So it looks like A goes with one, and that must mean that each number is tied to where it is in the alphabet. So B would be two, C would be three, and so on. Okay, so let's just fill in the rest of the blanks then. C, T, S, T, E, N. Detectives, it says Acts 10, but what could that mean? It must be talking about the book of Acts from the Bible, and the 10 would be the chapter number. You know what, detectives? It's a good thing that I put this in my bag this morning. God loves to talk to us about one of the ways he speaks to us through the Bible. When we spend time reading our Bible, it is basically like God is talking to us. Let's see what this clue has in store for us. There is a story in Acts 10 about a man named Cornelius that heard from God when he spent time with him. Cornelius and his whole family loved God. They gave to people who needed things, and they spent time with God by praying regularly. One day, while Cornelius was talking to God, an angel spoke to him. The angel told Cornelius that God heard his prayers and that he needed to invite a man named Peter to come over to his house. So Cornelius told two of his servants and a soldier what the angel had said and sent them to find Peter. While Cornelius' men were on their way, Peter was on his roof praying and spending time with God. He then realized that he was supposed to go to Cornelius' house. So when Cornelius' men showed up, Peter went with them. When he arrived at Cornelius' house, Peter saw that Cornelius had invited his whole family and all of his friends over too. Peter told everyone that was there the good news that God wanted them to hear. The good news was about Jesus. When Cornelius and Peter spent time with God, 
they heard exactly what he wanted them to do. And when Cornelius' family and friends spent time with God by listening to Peter tell the good news, they heard about God's love and they chose to believe in Jesus. I know it can sometimes seem difficult to hear from God, but he has made a way for us to know his voice. When we spend time with God, we can know what he wants us to do. And we can spend time with God by reading our Bible, learning at church, and asking God to speak to us, and knowing that he will. You and I hear from God when we spend time with him. And wow, obviously the person this journal belonged to heard God's voice. They wrote down all the things that they learned. And maybe there's something else in here that can help us solve this mystery. I mean, think about it. There was ink in the Bible from where they were writing in this journal. And that means they spent time reading the Bible and then writing down what they learned. And they couldn't have come up with this all on their own. So they must have heard from God by spending time with him. There has to be more to this mystery and more clues. But while we think about that, let's think about our Bible story from today. What is one way we can spend time with God? Right, if you remember from last week, we learned that what the Bible says, God says. So one way we can hear from God is by spending time reading his word in the Bible. Okay, next question. In the Bible story, Peter also heard from God by spending time with him. Now, how did Peter spend time with God? By talking to him or eating snacks? Exactly, Peter spent time with God by praying and talking to him. Reading our Bibles and praying are two great ways we can spend time with God. And when we do those things, we can hear from Him. And that, detectives, is just what we need to know today. I want you all to say this after me. I hear from God when I spend time with Him. Let's do that one more time. I hear from God when I spend time with Him. You got it. When we worship, we're spending time with God. And one way we can worship is through singing. Let's all stand up and sing a song together this morning. No holding back, not slowing down, whoa. Not giving up, not going back, whoa, whoa, when I'm freaking out, you're the rescue, I'm holding on to you, yeah, God, your love is made a way, there's no need to be afraid, there's no stopping us because you Slowing down, whoa, whoa, not giving up, not going back, whoa, whoa, when I'm freaking out, you're the rescue. There's no stopping us because you are with us. You have overcome the grave and now you live inside of me. There's no stopping us because you are with us. Oh! 
awesome singing detectives. You know, when we have questions about who God is, we can spend time looking in the Bible for answers. There is a verse in the Bible that tells us what we'll find when we search for clues about Him. I want you all to say this verse after me this morning. But without faith, no one can please God. We must believe that God is real and that He rewards everyone who searches for Him. Hebrews 11, 6. Let's say that one more time this morning. But without faith, no one can please God. We must believe that God is real and that He rewards everyone who searches for Him. Hebrews 11, 6. Good job, you guys. Detectives, we did some great work today figuring out this cryptogram. And I'm so glad you were here today to help us continue to solve this mystery. Let's spend some time with God right now by praying together. So let's all get quiet, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Father God, thank you for speaking to us through the Bible and when we pray. Thank you for loving us enough to listen to our prayers and speak to us. Help us to listen to you and to do everything that you tell us to do. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, detectives, today was so much fun, and I'm loving getting to solve all of these clues with you and then getting to share them with my family. Wait a minute, you two guys. Detectives, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I may have just spotted our next clue. Come back next week and see if this is just what we need to continue to solve this mystery. We'll see you guys then. Bye.